and lift off. So I'm planning a trip to space. Okay, where in space are you going? Can I just float around up there for a while? No, space actually has many locations. If you really want to go to space, you'll need to understand orbital mechanics. Orbital mechanics? That sounds way too hard. It's just the study of how things move in orbit. What? Understanding how things move in space in relation to one another so that you don't end up floating around in space forever or running into something. Okay, you're right. I don't want that to happen. Where do I start? Well, first you'll need to understand an orbit, which is a gravitationally curved path typically elliptical around a star, a planet, or a moon. So if you're anywhere in space, then you're also in an orbit. Getting to a specific orbit requires the right timing and the use of transfer orbits. Like going on a road trip, I would need to find the right freeway intersections in order to get from point A to point B. That's right. Sounds good. Let's go. Hold on. Orbits are often described by their orbital elements. Apogee, the highest point of the orbit. Perigee, the lowest. And inclination, the tilt of the orbit relative to Earth's equator. So, if the difference in length between the apogee and perigee is small, will the orbit be nearly circular? Yes. And if there is a large difference? The orbit will be highly elliptical. Nice. You need to know that when you're in orbit, you'll go faster when you're near the perigee and slower near the apogee. So an object in orbit will actually speed up and slow down. Got it. As for the inclination, if it's zero degrees, the orbit will be constantly over the equator, and if it's 90 degrees, the orbit will be polar. Passing over the north and south poles. All right, I'm ready. Not so fast. When an object, like a planet, orbits closer to the center of gravity, like the sun, it will move faster around that object rather than something that orbits further away. Like how Mercury moves faster than Jupiter around the sun. Speaking of Jupiter, I think I'll go there. Now you're talking a whole other world of science. We'll have to save that for next time.